Snooky and I are pissed. This is a Walmart wax rant. So try to sit down and relax. Stay calm. I know I'm gonna. I am fuming right now inside. Let me explain to you guys what happened. Okay, so my Walmart here in my town is so slow in getting all the new scents for candles, for wax, new products, whatever. So I'm in a whole bunch of Facebook groups and they're like showing all these pictures of all this fall wax um, in the sensational cubes. I don't know if you guys are familiar with the wax cubes, but if not, this is what they look like. Comes like this, they're $2 a pack. You stick them in a warmer and they fragrance your house. Okay, so my Walmart never has anything that I want, so I decided, what the hey, I'm gonna go online and order them. Okay, so they're online. They come in a package of 10. There were two different types of packages that I wanted. There was one called Fall Spice, which had and I will read to you guys what it was supposed to come with. White sandalwood and two of each. So two white sandalwood, two Turkish spice market, two warm spice, two pumpkin spice, and two ebony woods. Then there was another set that came with 20 of these, two in each scent of, it's called Fall Comforts, of warm autumn sweater, cedar forest trails, warm crackling campfire, simmering apple cider, and crisp fall leaves. So my whole order total was $40, $20 for each, and I get a total of 20 packets of wax cubes. So I placed my order online. Obviously, I have to pay right away. I have it shipped to my local store, and everything is good. I will point out that on no particular area of the site did it say this item was out of stock. If anything was out of stock, Angela would not have placed the order. But since it was in stock, I placed the order. Okay, so here's where things start to go awry. By the way, every single time I place an order online with any effing company, something like this happens. Okay, so I placed the order on July 25th. Uh, other people that I spoke with said that it only usually takes like three or four days to, you know, get an order. If it's over the weekend, it may take a little bit longer, but nothing like past the five day period. So I'm waiting, 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 and I don't hear anything. I check my order and it says still processing after like the six day mark. And I ask other people and they're like, no, this has never happened to me before. Of course it happens to me, but it never happened to anybody else. I swear to God, I have like a curse, a curse on my forehead saying, don't order any wax, don't order anything. Okay, so anyway, so I call the 800 number and I'm like, you know, blah, blah, blah. Listen, where's my wax? I just want my wax. I already paid for it. Like, is it coming? Because if it isn't coming, then just cancel the order because they can do that. And she's like, oh, no, no, no. She's like, it's coming. It's still like on this truck and it's like, you know, driving from Illinois to Wisconsin. I'm like, okay, whatever. Okay, so it's August 6th. I got my order. So, okay, this is basically how things work. You have to go to the back of your Walmart store. You have to show, you know, like a little thing on your phone or whatever. They scan it in. They go get your order in the back. They bring it up and they show you this box. So this box was closed, okay? So the woman opened the box in front of me and in that box were these two boxes here, okay? These two boxes were closed. She didn't open them. I didn't request to open them. I thought to myself, this is what I ordered. Everything is fine and dandy. I get home. That's where the shit starts. So I get home and, you know, I have to have a snack first because I just got done working out. So I ate some mangoes because I'm trying to lose weight. By the way, I've lost about 50 pounds so far, so... Kudos to me. Anyway, okay, so I open up the first box. This one is supposed to be 
Oh my gosh, where is it? This one is supposed to be Fall Spice. By the way, Fall Spice is White Sandalwood Turkish Spice Market Warm Spice Pumpkin Spice Ebony Woods. So I'm like super stoked when I open up the box and I realize I got a fucking vanilla bean. I don't want vanilla bean. I want something Turkish. So I got two vanilla beans. I got two No Place Like Home, which is a very old scent, and I don't want this. I have tons of it already. I got two Lemongrass Mint. What is Lemongrass Mint doing in a fall box? I have no idea. Two of those. I also got two Chai Tea, which I love Chai Tea, but I don't need anymore. I just wanted the new fall scents. But by the way, this is a really good scent. And I got two Pumpkin Spice, which is a very old scent. It's like two or three years old. Okay, so I knew that this was wrong. So I'm like, F my life. Let me look in the second box. So the second box is supposed to be Fall Comforts, which is Warm Autumn. Uh, so upset. Warm Autumn Sweater, Cedar Forest Trails, Warm Crackling Campfire, Simmering Apple Cider, and Crisp Fall Leaves. Now, some of these are repeats from last year, but some of them were new, and that is why I ordered them. So I open up this box, and I'm just like, hmm, this looks to be about right. You know, let's just calm down. Sugared Pecan Pumpkin. While this is not on my list, I do love it, but it's not on my list. Apple Berry Crumble. This is a scent from last year. I don't want it. Ebony Woods. This is one that I was supposed to get in the Fall Spice. So I love it. The scent is amazing, but they still fucked up. Okay. Then we got Blackberry Cider, another one from last year. I got it in candle form. I don't need any more and I don't want it. And Rose Gold, which I believe is a new scent, and if not, correct me if I'm wrong, um, I can't even barely smell it. So I got two of those. Okay, so by this point, I'm like, okay, these all need to go back. So I'm like, well, why don't I call the 800 number first to see how this kind of works. You know, I'm pretty sure I can take it back to the store, but I just want to know, like, are they going to charge my account? Are they going to give me cash back? Like, not that that really matters, but I didn't want to make a trip down there and, you know, not know what was going on. Okay. So I call the 800 number. I get this really nice woman. I explain everything to her that all these scents are completely wrong. This is not what I ordered. The box says one thing. What was inside the box was another. I did not open up the box in front of the woman who gave it to me, which I totally should have. She's like completely understanding, understanding. She's like, but I have some bad news. I'm like, okay, what? She's like, well, the first bad news is, is that the Fall Spice and the Fall Comfort set aren't even available yet. She's like, we haven't even got them from the, the wax company yet. And I'm like, well, how can you put them on your site and make them available? And she's like, well, I don't really know, but that's what happened. I'm like, okay. I'm like, so they just basically made up some boxes and sent it out. And that's not really what I ordered. And she's like, well, we're not supposed to. She's like, usually an email goes out stating that the item is not available. And I'm like, well, that totally didn't happen. And obviously they sent me all of this wax that I don't want. And um, she said, well, she said, here's the other bad part. She said, you cannot take it back to the store because they're going to open up the box and realize that this is not what was supposed to be in the box. She's like, and they're going to think that some heebie-jeebie stuff was going on and you might have switched stuff out. And I'm like, okay, well then what am I supposed to do? And she's like, well, she's like, we can credit your account, but you're going to have to send all the stuff back. And I'm like, okay, that's fine. She's like, well, I'm going to have somebody come and uh, pick stuff up from you. And I'm thinking, pick something up from me. Like, 
How does that work? She's like, well, you have to be home and you know, they're going to come and knock on your door and then you give them. And I'm like, oh, wait a minute. I work Monday through Friday. I am not taking off work just for wax. Let me tell you. She's like, well, do you think that they'd be able to pick it up at your work? I'm like, well, do you think my work really cares about wax? No, they don't. So I was so upset. I'm like, okay, I just want my $40 back. Like, how can we do this so I can get my money back? She's like, the only thing I can do is I can send you a slip in the mail and you can put it on these boxes and you can return them and it won't cost you a thing. I'm like, well, yeah, because I'm not going to pay for it to ship them back because you guys messed up. She's like, and then I'll credit your account once we get the stuff in, which I don't like that because first of all, I have like no guarantee that they got the items back. So I, I would like send it off and not know. I know there's tracking and stuff like that, but I just didn't understand why I cannot take it back to the store. So I basically told her, screw it. I'm just stuck with all these. Now I don't know what to do with them. Got a wax problem, guys. I do like this appleberry crumble. I don't know. So I don't know. I may do a giveaway. I may just, you know, sell them on my Facebook group. I don't know what to do. But anyway, I'm stuck with all these wax cubes. I don't want them. Hopefully Walmart will take them back. I will keep you guys posted. Thank you guys so much for watching my little rantity rant rant. And that's it. Walmart Online, you suck ass.